Good morning. Today, I'm very proud of myself. I am really proud. And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. That's right. Donald Trump just talked about his dick during a presidential debate. I'm going to bomb the shit out of him. It's true. I don't care. I don't care. They've got to be stopped. Build that wall. 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 If I decide to run, you'll have the great pleasure of voting for the man that will easily go down as the greatest president in the history of the United States. Me, Donald John Donald John Trump. The inspiration uh, really came from uh, one of my children. And uh, I brought him some uh, Play-Doh, and he made a mound of Play-Doh. And he said, uh, Dad, and I turned to what? He went, voila, in front of this mound of Play-Doh. And he was so proud. And I looked at it, and I thought, you know, this is really what I try to do every day as an artist, to make objects that you can't make any judgments about, that it's perfect, that you just experience acceptance. And it has kind of a Freudian quality to it. I really thought that Plato captures the 20th century. And you have this aspect of Freud with this kind of mound of Plato and the way the organic shapes are on top of each other. And within art, you kind of have this uh, abstract expressionism. You have this kind of aspect of de Kooning or something. But it just seems like to throw a net and capture the 20th century. This is a really classic example of Dada attacking the art establishment. So an object that was bound to cause offence. With hindsight, we can see this as an absolute turning point and having an enormous impact on the development of 20th century sculpture right through up to the present day. Um, but I think in 1917, it was really the gesture itself, the provocation, a kind of up yours gesture um, which is what this represented. It wasn't how to be a better artist. It was how to redefine the question of what is it to be an artist. This means that all of these notions that had gone for centuries with the idea of an artist, such as that you were a skilled painter, all of these ideas associated with the beauty of a creation are gone. Not just concerned with craft, and with the idea of hard work. And it's amazing. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. You're running for president of the excuse United me, excuse States. Excuse me, I didn't start it. Oh, but that's, I didn't uh, start it. But sir, sir, with all due respect, that's the argument of a five-year-old. I didn't start it. The day after the election, I'll know more about it than you will ever know. That I can oh, that, I hope so.
It will when it's appropriate. I will know more about it than you know.